Slow versus auto. I've seen auto on this map several times, and he does seem quite strong. Uh. Oh, oh shit, I should probably tell. Uh, I've seen auto on this map a few times. He does seem pretty strong. I'm assuming, as this has been a pretty common map in tournaments, that Zillow is also probably strong on a map like this, or at least is comfortable. Um, I did, I did, I did learn in the in the qualifiers as a, a poor Paradise Lost noob who's never played this map uh, that the spawns are pretty imbalanced, right? If auto spawns up here and the mirror is low, it's not actually mirrored. Zillow has much easier access to the mexes, uh, like you can build wins easier. It's a whole thing, and apparently auto's decided, fuck that, we're gonna spawn right here, directly opposite Zillow, no mirrors, and just see what he does which apparently is a con into many supporters i have literally zero idea in the actual meta of like a 1v1 c fight so this is kind of interesting as both are opting for supporters which you know you're trying to snipe expanding cons scout what your opponent's doing where they are it kind of makes sense i can see i can see it i imagine not that much is different from normal normal C comps from what I've seen, but you know. Wow, this this wind is uh this wind on this map is kinda wild. Five twenty is is pretty pretty substantial with an average of fifteen point one makes wind on this map better than basically uh, any anything else. You definitely don't want to be making titles when when wind is an option. I wonder how Patak has this. Look at this man, he's sneaky. Watching watching a tourney game. Uh, in spectator. Both opting to just have a little calmer expand. This is low opting for two con expand, whereas auto is doing a one con into multiple supporters. With the size of this map and the speed of boats, I could see I could see greeting and two cons being, you know, kind of okay. I don't know. One hour paradise lost. Jesus, man, why would you do that to yourself? I mean, that sounds awesome, though. I've never seen that map go long, so that sounds awesome. I'm not going to complain. Versus Auto and Sash. God, dude. <laughs> I want to watch that. Damn it. That I actually... I've never I've never seen this map go late. I want to watch that, damn it. Uh, all right. Look, maybe we don't want... But we don't play Supervive today. You know what? Maybe maybe we just power through this, and we don't Supervive, and we just, we just watch Bar. Maybe that's what we do. Well, Zlow opting to just, you know, not not really be aggressive with the supporters. Just cover his expanding cons. Not going to see any of these little sneaky supporters that Otto is sneaking into uh, his back line. Well, maybe... Is he just... He, just, he smells the bullshit and actually is, is sending supporters immediately to go cut it off. I got time? I guess that depends on how long this set is. That's true. We might actually have time. I don't need food before Supervive. I haven't eaten all day. It's fine. I don't need food. Who's for the week? It's for the week. Ooh. Zlo trying to cut off these supporters. Actually may have left his... Uh, his con, uh, uh, with the quick reclaim and the the damage. Oh, sh it should win. It didn't. It didn't end up winning. Con did end up winning. It's very bruised. Oh, we get, this is looking like very familiar to the grunt on grunter and sizer on sizer wars. Uh, and yes, the con does beat a supporter one v one if you start reclaiming pretty pretty quickly i actually don't i don't know exactly like how how quickly you need to start reclaiming i just know you need it needs to be somewhat quick uh uh i mean he's he's covering this this bruise con with his own supporters and yeah he's not gonna let auto snipe this even though auto really <laughs> if he does get this these cons are very expensive losing the any any c con at this point is incredibly painful as it's not really something you want to have to rebuild a lot of uh, a lot of supporters for both sides. Neither one opting to make heavier ships yet, as I guess they've just reached that point where they're just going to keep expanding, making supporters. And uh, deciding not to finish that land max. I wonder. I wonder why. I mean, because he's he's pulling it back with how bruised it is. Just deciding not to risk it. 
Worried, worried Otto might just jump on the, the con and, and just instantly kill it with how hurt it is. Slow going for his own counterattack. And the thing with C is like like even in land fights, you have to be really careful not to like leave reclaim on, on the enemy side of the field unless you're getting like good value from it. Boats are very expensive, and any boat that dies is so much metal that you were leaving on the ground. There is 360 metal, and that quick little exchange, a few boats died, and f nearly 400 metal is on the ground. That's a little, that's a little rough. That, that turns into quite a bit uh, if, you, if you keep feeding little, little bits of, of, of metal. What's the point of sending supporters to the enemy side of the map? You can't kill mexes? Your goal is to get cons. That's the idea. That being said, you're right. You can't kill mexes. Your mexes are totally safe to these supporters. So, like, at a certain point, you do are just making units that are genuinely, I would say, bad. Like, Otto's, Otto's decided to swamp to frigates, and frigates, like, well microed? Scary as fuck, okay? Like, they're scary as fuck into this. They will, they will chew through supporters. Especially as they get up in numbers, they will just eat. Like if supporters can get a like a nice flank, you know, get a good surround, they will they will kill the frigates. If the frigates are allowed to kite, it's a little dicey. He is. Neither, neither player really managed to get that much damage. I will say, slow has expanded much quicker than auto, and 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 a, and a, and a C on C battle, the thing that matters the most is metal. Okay, like the energy matters, but all of your ships are so metal expensive. You kind of, you kind of need to get as many mexes as you can as quickly as you can. And and oh man, he's gonna lose one of his expanding cons and has almost actually has no units in in his north part at all. And this is kind of a dangerous situation to be fighting into frigates if they're able to just kite you in this tiny little choke. It's just gonna be really rough. He does have a destroyer out. Which he could sit behind the supporters and the the urchin and just kind of shell the 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 frigates back to bar five days a week. I'm basically just doing the BPL stuff and and uh, a few other re re replays uh, today. Next week, I think I might do like off and on bar and and something else because uh, I have been craving an RTS recently. Okay, and you know what, bar is kind of ruined every other RTS for me. I think we've reached that point. Uh, this is a lot of frigates. This, this is a lot of frigates in front of Zlo's destroyer there. He, Zlo does manage to clean up all the supporters. <laughs> he does manage to clean all of this up. He has his own frigates in the north as well. I mean, yeah, now we're in a reverse of the situation where Otto all of a sudden has no units in the north whatsoever. His poor, poor Khan that was trying to expand is running for its life. Uh, not that, you know, slow as anything to kill any of these mexes, so, like, as long as Otto can keep the Khan alive, he's kind of still sitting, sitting pretty. Oh, this destroyer might get jumped on. Uh, Otto decided not to commit for it, which, you know, to be fair, you really don't want to get surrounded by the supporters. I can see, I can understand it. He's gonna make his own defense. Why is this map in the pool? A navy, a navy 1v1 map is unique, you know? It's, it's a little interesting than grunt on grunt or incisor on incisor. It's a little, it's a little more interesting. I think this is, what, probably the only 1v1 navy map I can think of. I mean, I, again, I don't know many. Well, the Tundra Continents. Volshock did donate for Tundra Continents, and there was a mini riot, and they did not get put in the pool. Which, I'll admit, slightly disappointed. Only see map accepted by the one we want? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I have not checked it out. I've seen the trailers for it. I have literally no idea what game it is. It's a good map. I do think it's a good map. I would like to see the spawn imbalance cleaned up a little bit. I would like to see cleaned up a little bit, okay? Like, it's a cool map, but one side should not be so much better than the other, okay? Like, that's just, that's never fun. That's just never enjoyable. Oh, Otto is maybe going to lose one of his expanding cons to this this very sneaky 
little little frigate supporter push as he doesn't have any radar in this this side of the map. Re Rewatch that four hour game. I will die. Is low deciding to uh, self d the rest of those boats as to not feed the metal. This is kind of stabilizing a little bit. I mean, I would say Zlow is ahead. He's managed to take some of the min-mexes. He has denied, uh, well, he's kind of denied Otto. One of, I, I can't tell, I think this is Otto's mex. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, and, I mean, it's, it's, he's making titles instead of wins. I mean, I guess, yeah, it's kind of hard to make wins, I guess, if your commander is walking, which he's, he will now be making wins. Do you not get map bans in BPL? So you do, but like I know Otto specifically likes this map. He he tries to pick this map because uh, he likes it. He likes playing C maps. Um, and I, I yeah I would not be surprised the surprised if many others do. Like this is this is a pretty popular as a C map. This is a pretty popular one v one map for that. Slow does too. Okay, see I wasn't I knew Otto did. I wasn't actually sure about slow. So this is kind of the situation where he kind of didn't react quite quick enough, but at the same time, it's still like, frigates are pretty good. The supporters are kind of just not. The, the subs plus the frigates enough to clean up this army, and uh, it doesn't look like he has anything to reclaim this, as there is a lot of metal just left on the ground there. Auto have radar there. Auto has radar almost nowhere. He has one. This is the only radar Auto owns in, on his entire entire map. And actually, like this is kind of like a lot of army in front of him. He is pushing with his subs in the north. And those will kill so many mexes if there is no response to them. Herrings are your radar. That is. I mean, I could I could see that as the uh, the sea radars are more expensive than land radars, and you know. When everything's already so damn expensive, you kind of don't really want to be spending that metal. But nobody, nobody reclaiming this metal up here. I mean, Otto is now doing it with his cons, or trying to do it with his cons. This kiting destroyer gonna get cleaned up. Actually, Zlow losing most of this army and his mexes. Like this destroyer's gonna die to the frigates. Oh no, Otto missed micro. It was gonna die to the frigates, and the sub was gonna kill all the mexes. This, all of a sudden, this is this has gone from kind of a passive-ish game to this is this is heating up to like sea fights in every direction. These these idle frigates, unfortunately, not going to clean that up. Uh, the destroyer will clean up all these sea mexes, and and Zlo is attempting to reclaim uh, with his own con. So much metal on the ground here. Little 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 groupings of a thousand plus metal just all over the map. All of these frigates dying to, uh, oh god, slow. Do the dance. Oh god, the dance is a little rough. Oh, it's fine. Slow. <laughs> slow, man. <laughs> slow? Bro, you good? You, your laser doesn't fire when you're reclaiming slow? Bro. Oh! <laughs> when is that gonna be fixed, okay? Arm would have been able to reclaim there and shoot. Okay, but Cortex can't. What's up with that? Hmm? What's, up, what's up? That ain't right. That ain't right at all. All right. <laughs> so that was crazy. What the fuck was he doing? <laughs> oh my god. Auto deciding to go for Bot Lab here to. Uh, I'm assuming scale energy as he's kind of. Well, he's not really e stalling. He's metal stalling as is pretty normal for the the C on C action. Uh, oh god. Metal produced, they're, like, like, slow is slightly ahead. It's really just core that can't do it? It is some, yeah, I, I remember pinging in Zekris about it, and it is just core. It's crazy. Like, it's with repair, too. Arm can repair and shoot, whereas core cannot with the commanders. It's crazy. I don't, I, he said it's something with the, the comm script is weird, or something like that. Uh, but... Zlow almost just died because of it. <laughs> you know, Zlow is kind of just feeding more metal into this spot. Admittedly, Otto is kind of struggling to reclaim it. I mean, he's getting cons up there to do it now. And Oh, another su a sub managed to sneak in and it is going to start sniping all of Zlow's back mixes. 
I think this is this is definitely turning away from Zlo's favor. There's so much metal here on the ground that he's just not going to be able to reclaim, and he's just going in one by one. And as we know with Bar, flanking damage is pretty good. Numbers numbers matter quite a lot. You, even with basically no micro, these frigates are just getting evaporated. Ironically, it balances the game a little bit. Yeah, Cortex having a better C, but their commander is just worse. Is like, yeah, yeah, Zlo taps out. He, he recognizes there's too much metal feed in the ground there. That being said, that is super, it is super unintuitive that the one commander can do this thing, but the other commander cannot. It's unintuitive as hell. Like, that is, if you don't know that mechanic exists, you could just die to it. And Zlo literally almost just did. But, wow. Slow with the metal produced lead the entire game until right at the end. Alright, auto versus low. I, I don't know, man. Oh my god, arm bots? He's doing it. I like it. So they we just saw them on Paradise Lost. We're now seeing uh wait, wait, was Lowe's spawn is Wait, why would he spawn there if he's going to walk to the third max? Am I crazy? Couldn't he have spawned a little towards the middle and walked to that third max much easier? Am I crazy? It must be Tick win. You think? Maybe. You know what? Maybe. Maybe we, maybe we should have put it as like a... This is the game before Paradise Lost? Okay, so I'll try and remember that. This is apparently game one. I'll try and remember that when I'm actually like cutting it up for YouTube. Because I will probably fail, but I will try. Wait, shit, that just spoiled. God damn it, Auto. <laughs> God damn it. Everybody ignore what I just said. <clears throat> God damn it. I prefer the other mid spot, I do too. <laughs> God damn it, Auto. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. This guy. You're ignoring me too, man. I don't even know what I said. You know, who knows what I said? Oh, wind is kind of terrible. Poor Auto. Making, uh,. Making solars. Uh, forced to make solars where, you know, Zlo with his powerful arm winds is, is sitting here pretty with not actually that much energy. His lab is, is very, like, much later than Otto's actually. It's kind of, kind of, his spawn is weird. His, his low spawn is kind of strange. He's pretty solidly down in energy at the moment uh, as Otto has opted for the solar start and the wind is not cooperating. Oh, that's a funny radar spot. Wait, does that see everything? Oh my god, that's a good... Wait, can you do that everywhere? Wait, wow, that is like the tiniest little sliver on one of the... Oh, wait, you can... Bro, you can build... That's crazy. Okay, wow. Ticks can cross mid? They can, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Total, total traversability. Oh, no, there's a tiny little spot where ticks cannot cross. But, like, these ticks are so late across the map. Like, you normally want to be harassing before the grunt player, like, has any hope of, of responding to it, right? Like, these are these are getting there. There's already, what, five grunts on the map? There's two ticks versus five grunts. I mean, maybe you can tame them, but it's going to be really hard to get any damage done. So, Zlo is expanding in three different directions. I don't know why I'm saying that. Like, we didn't already spoil. This is a five-minute game, but, you know, he's... he's He's expanding a little greedier. Doesn't look like Otto's going for the three con expand. No idea how this ends. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know either. I kind of wish I hadn't seen the timestamp because all of a sudden it's like I'm looking at it like what the. This this just we're three and a half minutes in. The game looks totally normal outside of a weird spawns for slow and I don't know. Maybe his power goes out, man. <laughs> like I don't know. Well, the ticks are actually getting cleaned up, which is actually kind of really what you don't want to have happen. Like, e even if they're not getting value killing mexes, you want them to be like there, alive, just staying in in the in the head of the the bot player, uh, just so they they're having to be a little more defensive and think about it. So Zlo is doing a very very quick vehicle swap, kind of an awkward vehicle swap as he's heavily metal stalling. Uh, on on this lab. Yeah, this con is very exposed in middle. Like it, it is, you're not wrong. It is very exposed. They're deciding not to do it, but uh, 
The lab will be will be eaten finally. I think there was like a 90% done con on in that queue. It looked almost done, which is on four. Directly into medium tanks. Huh. I have no idea what's happening. I'll be completely honest with you. Not a clue. I'm actually at a total loss. <laughs> I am at a to total loss. There are grunts coming in from every angle. This con, expanding con, will get caught. Auto is just kind of showing up in every single direction, and there's like one little little medium tank in every direction to, to stem the tide. But mediums are not that good at dealing with mass grunt, man. Like they're not that good. Like it's it's kind of just outright losing. There's three medium. Okay, it was low. What the fuck, man? <laughs> it was a warm up game. All right. Now we know how it ended. Yeah, it ended with with. Confusion on all parties' parts, I think. <laughs> yeah, Alex like, what the fuck, man? Uh, what happened? No units versus units, yep. A little five minute in and out quick game. Adds in a critical moment. The critical moment. <laughs> yep, okay. I would want to know Zlo's decision making there. And I, I, what, what was the thought process there? Oh, th this is new. He reclaimed a lab. This is fake. Uh, what was the thought process there? He just made a fucking... He made three medium tanks and died. I, I don't know. That's crazy.